The National Transportation Safety Board wants to cut down on drunk driving. It's recommending states lower the blood alcohol limit by nearly half. That's already the law in more than 100 nations. But in this country, the idea is already hitting roadblocks. Jeff Glor is with us. Jeff, good morning. Charlie, good morning to you. The NTSB says the new guideline could cut back on 10,000 traffic deaths every year. Not everyone is convinced. The NTSB says the threshold for drunk driving should be lowered significantly across the country from 0.08 to 0.05. There were almost a thousand fatalities in the United States in 2011 involving drivers who had a BAC between 0.05 and 0.07. The move to 0.08 came in 1998, pushed by the Clinton administration. But the NTSB says that wasn't enough. Traffic fatalities tied to drunk driving have remained at 30% since the mid-1990s, with nearly 440,000 deaths due to alcohol-related crashes in the last 30 years. Former NTSB chairman Mark Rosenker. Studies have shown that if you can bring it down to 0.05, you can significantly reduce the number of fatalities, accidents, and injuries on our nation's highways. But some believe the new recommendation is badly misguided. Honestly, I think that they are throwing the kitchen sink at the problem. Sarah Longwell of the American Beverage Institute says the proposal does not target the real problem, the heavy drinkers, who she says cause the vast majority of accidents. This recommendation would punish moderate and responsible social drinkers um, and the hospitality industry. If you're an average sized woman, this could mean as little as one drink would put you at the limit at which you could be arrested for a DUI. To test it out, we asked a New York City police sergeant to administer a breath test to a man and a woman after an hour of drinking. I had three drinks. Whoa. Blah, 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 blah. 0.03. How many drinks so far today? Just one. Keep going, keep going, keep going. That's it. Your 0.01. Even though both were still well under the new proposed limit, the NTSB does appear to face an uphill battle getting this proposal passed. This is not going to be easy for the state legislatures to make this change very quickly. The Department of Transportation has said it is not in favor of the plan. Even Mothers Against Drunk Driving says they appreciate the recommendation, but lowering the BAC number is not the solution. MAD is in favor of other parts of the plan, including breathalyzer locks on cars for people already convicted of drunk driving. Guys. I think that will help more. Jeff Glor, thank you.